The Employment Situation, November 2022. Transmission of material in this news release is embargoed until 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Friday, December 2, 2022. Total non-farm payroll employment increased by 263,000 in November, and the unemployment rate was unchanged at 3.7%, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics reported today. Notable job gains occurred in leisure and hospitality, healthcare, and government. Employment declined in retail trade and in transportation and warehousing. This news release presents statistics from two monthly surveys. The household survey measures labor force status, including unemployment, by demographic characteristics. The establishment survey measures non-farm employment, hours, and earnings by industry. For more information about the concepts and statistical methodology used in these two surveys, see the technical note. Household survey data. The unemployment rate was unchanged at 3.7% in November and has been in a narrow range of 3.5% to 3.7% since March. The number of unemployed persons was essentially unchanged at 6.0 million in November. See Table A1. Among the major worker groups, the unemployment rates for adult men, 3.4%, adult women, 3.3%, teenagers, 11.3%, whites, 3.2%, Blacks, 5.7%, Asians, 2.7%, and Hispanics, 3.9%, showed little or no change over the month. See tables A1, A2, and A3. Among the unemployed, the number of permanent job losers rose by 127,000 to 1.4 million in November. The number of persons on temporary layoff changed little at 803,000. See table A11. The number of long-term unemployed, those jobless for 27 weeks or more, was little changed at 1.2 million in November. The long-term unemployed accounted for 20.6% of all unemployed persons. See Table A12. Both the labor force participation rate, at 62.1%, and the employment population ratio, at 59.9%, were little changed in November and have shown little net change since early this year. These measures are each 1.3 percentage points below their values in February 2020, prior to the coronavirus, COVID-19, pandemic. See Table A1. The number of persons employed part-time for economic reasons was about unchanged at 3.7 million in November. These individuals, who would have preferred full-time employment, were working part-time because their hours had been reduced or they were unable to find full-time jobs. See Table A8. The number of persons not in the labor force who currently want a job was little changed at 5.6 million in November and remains above its February 2020 level of 5.0 million. These individuals were not counted as unemployed because they were not actively looking for work during the four weeks preceding the survey or were unavailable to take a job. See Table A1. Among those not in the labor force who wanted a job, the number of persons marginally attached to the labor force held at 1.5 million in November. These individuals wanted and were available for work and had looked for a job sometime in the prior 12 months but had not looked for work in the four weeks preceding the survey. The number of discouraged workers, a subset of the marginally attached who believed that no jobs were available for them, was 405,000 in November, little changed from the previous month. See Summary Table A. Establishment Survey Data. Total non-farm payroll employment increased by 263,000 in November roughly in line with average growth over the prior three months, plus 282,000. Monthly job growth has averaged 392,000 thus far in 2022, compared with 562,000 per month in 2021. In November, notable job gains occurred in leisure and hospitality, healthcare, and government. Employment declined in retail trade and in transportation and warehousing. See Table B1. Leisure and hospitality added 88,000 jobs in November, including a gain of 62,000 in food services and drinking places. Leisure and hospitality has added an average of 82,000 jobs per month thus far this year, less than half the average gain of 196,000 jobs per month in 2021. Employment in leisure and hospitality is below its pre-pandemic February 2020 level by 980,000, or 5.8%. In November, employment in healthcare rose by 45,000, 
with gains in ambulatory healthcare services, plus 23,000, hospitals, plus 11,000, and nursing and residential care facilities, plus 10,000. So far in 2022, healthcare employment has increased by an average of 47,000 per month, well above the 2021 average monthly gain of 9,000. Government added 42,000 jobs in November, mostly in local government, plus 32,000. Government employment has increased by an average of 25,000 per month thus far this year, compared with 38,000 per month in 2021. Since February 2020, government employment is down by 461,000, or 2.0%. In November, employment in the other services industry rose by 24,000, as personal and laundry services added 11,000 jobs over the month. Other services employment has increased by an average of 15,000 per month thus far this year, compared with 24,000 per month in 2021. Employment in other services is below its February 2020 level by 186,000, or 3.1%. Employment in social assistance increased by 23,000 in November and has returned to its February 2020 level. Within social assistance, employment in individual and family services increased by 17,000 in November. Job growth in social assistance has averaged 18,000 per month thus far in 2022, compared with an average of 13,000 per month in 2021. Construction employment continued to trend up in November, plus 20,000, with non-residential building adding 8,000 jobs. Construction has added an average of 19,000 jobs per month thus far this year, little different from the 2021 average of 16,000 per month. Employment in information rose by 19,000 in November. Employment in the industry has increased by an average of 14,000 per month thus far this year, in line with the average of 16,000 per month in 2021. Manufacturing employment continued to trend up in November, plus 14,000. Job growth has averaged 34,000 per month thus far this year, little different from the 2021 average of 30,000 per month. In November, employment in financial activities continued its upward trend, plus 14,000. Job gains in real estate and rental and leasing, plus 13,000, and in securities, commodity contracts, and investments, plus 6,000, were partially offset by a decline in credit intermediation and related activities minus 9,000. Employment in financial activities has increased by an average of 12,000 per month thus far this year, the same as in 2021. Employment in retail trade declined by 30,000 in November. Job losses in general merchandise stores, minus 32,000, electronics and appliance stores, minus 4,000, and furniture and home furnishing stores, minus 3,000 were partially offset by a job gain in motor vehicle and parts dealers, plus 10,000. Retail trade employment has fallen by 62,000 since August. Employment in transportation and warehousing declined by 15,000 in November and has decreased by 38,000 since July. In November, job losses in warehousing and storage, minus 13,000, and in couriers and messengers, minus 12,000, were partially offset by a job gain in air transportation, plus 4,000. Employment in professional and business services changed little in November, plus 6,000. Within the industry, professional and technical services added 28,000 jobs, while business support services lost 11,000 jobs. Monthly job growth in professional and business services has averaged 58,000 thus far in 2022 down from 94,000 per month in 2021. Employment showed little change over the month in mining and wholesale trade. In November, average hourly earnings for all employees on private non-farm payrolls rose by 18 cents, or 0.6%, to $32.82. Over the past 12 months, average hourly earnings have increased by 5.1%. In November, Average hourly earnings of private sector production and non-supervisory employees rose by 19 cents, or 0.7%, to $28.10. See tables B3 and B8. In November, the average workweek for all employees on private non-farm payrolls declined by 0.1 hour to 34.4 hours. In manufacturing, the average workweek for all employees decreased by 0.2 hour to 40.2 hours 
and overtime declined by 0.1 hour to 3.1 hours. The average workweek for production and non-supervisory employees on private non-farm payrolls decreased by 0.1 hour to 33.9 hours. See tables B2 and B7. The change in total non-farm payroll employment for September was revised down by 46,000, from plus 315,000 to plus 269,000, and the change for October was revised up by 23,000, from plus 261,000 to plus 284,000. With these revisions, employment gains in September and October combined were 23,000 lower than previously reported. Monthly revisions result from additional reports received from businesses and government agencies since the last published estimates and from the recalculation of seasonal factors. The employment situation for December is scheduled to be released on Friday, January 6, 2023, at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time.